What's up everybody, hope you're having a good day. I got a quick tip and this was based on a suggestion that Alessandro Boncio made. And he said that he has been seeing a lot of cloth and dynamic animations where people are trying to retime them and add some slow-mo effects, maybe like a bullet time effect. And they're going into the dynamics and adding uh, keyframes under all of this in order to slow down the timing of the whole thing. And this does work. However, it does create uh, some issues. If somebody wants to retime things, you have to go into all your tags and redo the entire simulation. So a lot of times what it's better to do is just set up the simulation the way you like it and then go into the global settings and make a global time remapping. So I'm gonna show you how to do this really quick. We have this simulation and this is using the old dynamic system, which is now called Bullet. And let's say that we want to retime this. We could go into our tag here and do some retiming. What we can also do is go to Control D. And under here, there are two different tabs. The bullet tab is the old dynamic system with the rigid body and all that kind of thing. And uh, we're gonna go to the bullet tab and under general, there is a time scale. And that's set to 100%, which is just normal speed. And what we can do is just go to the point where we want it to slow down and we'll make a keyframe. Let me go ahead and go to animation show track. And we'll go down a few frames and let's slow this down to say 20%. And we'll just see what that looks like. So you can see that we're able to do a really nice time remapping effect and we're able to do it globally. So we don't actually go in and change any of these dynamic settings. So this is a much better way to do this. We can really quickly add some time remapping. We can go ahead and speed this up to say 200% to finish off the animation. We'll see what that looks like. So something like that. If you're using the new cloth simulation or the rope simulation, there's a different setting you're gonna to have to do. Quick shout out to iDesign over at uh, iDesign on YouTube. He's got a great tutorial on cloth simulations. So go ahead and check that out. I'll put a link below, but all you have to do is go to Control D and that pulls up your project settings. You could also go to edit project settings here. And this time, instead of using the bullet tab, we're gonna to go to the new simulation tab. And it's the exact same thing under scene, you have a time scale. So you can see that we have a slow effect and then it ramps up in the middle and speeds up and then it slows down again. And then you get this really nice time remapping effect. I hope that uh, tip makes sense to you. It's just a lot easier instead of going into all your settings and playing with them, then you have to kind of resim all your animations. Just get your simulation the way you want it and then go into the time scale and do your global time remapping there. And it's gonna be a lot faster and easier to manage. Hope you guys found that useful. Thanks for checking out Pixel Lab. Talk to you next time. Ciao.